for this question, um, we should really just take a second to remember what the derivative of secant is. The derivative of secant is a little bit different than some other derivatives because it kind of has two things in it. It's secant multiplied by tangent, right? So if you use a chain rule on secant, just remember that whatever you're ignoring inside the place of x here, you ought to make sure to put it here and here, right? So let's see how that goes. dy dx, the derivative will be, well, first of all, what's the derivative of root x? Remember, the derivative of root x is just 1 over 2 root x. So what we're ignoring, at the, the outermost function here is the root sign, and what we're ignoring is the stuff under it, namely secant x cubed. So it'll be 1 over 2 times the things we're ignoring multiplied by what we're ignoring. So let's fill that in. Secant x cubed. Secant x cubed. All right, so that's coming along. Let me recopy this. Now, to do the derivative of this, um, this is the reason I brought this up. We're going to be ignoring the x cubed now. Right now, the secant is the outermost function. Notice how the chain rule appeals away the layers, right? We first had the root sign, we did the derivative, and now the root sign is gone. And we're looking at the next level of function, which is the secant. And to do the derivative of secant of whatever, it'd be secant of that thing times tan of that thing times the derivative of that thing. So it'll be secant of x cubed times tan of x cubed times the derivative of x cubed. Now I could write x cubed prime and then rewrite everything and then write the derivative on the next step. But the derivative of x cubed is so easy, let's just write it down right away. So it's 3x squared. And uh, really, we're done now. There's no more prime signs, so we've done the derivative. Why don't we just write this as a single fraction? So we'll write 3x squared. Let's put the 3x squared in front. It looks better. And then we have our secant x cubed. We don't really need those brackets. It's, uh, it's fine like that. All over 2 times the root of secant x cubed. And that's our answer.